Ladies and gentlemen, we need leaders who are more interested in people than in private ambition. Timeless teachings by world-renowned speaker, Miles Monroe. Dr. Miles Monroe authored more than 70 best-selling books and his work continues to touch millions of people globally. Now, a new book by author Charlie Masara takes a closer look at Monroe's remarkable life. In My Life and Times with Miles Monroe, Charlie shares personal journeys, lessons and behind-the-scenes stories gained over two decades of service. My Life and Times with Miles Monroe by Charlie Masara is now available at leading bookstores. You can also order online at kingdomcommunitysa.org, monroeglobal.com or email charliemasara at icloud.com. Alternatively, call plus 27 Get your copy today to avoid missing out. Only available while stocks last. Ladies and gentlemen, we need leaders who are more interested in people. Phenomenal guest, Pastor Chris Mukoki. Pastor Mukoki, Utata Marako is a simple number two, it's a level technical. Yarona Batole Bamutsenye, Kiu Sansalete, Yakira Momhele, Kivuaka, Pastor Chris Mukoki, Pastor Chris Mukoki, welcome to ML Talk Show. Wow, thank you very much, Kale uh, Wakakakolo. It's a pleasure to be here this evening. Th thank you so much, my leader. It's a, it's a great honor and a privilege to have your caliber. It's been long. Uh, actually, I was waiting for this. Uh, let me open the scripture. We're talking about Hagai. Hagai, Una Chalusa, Fire Kilibel, let's say, Kita Hobolella, yes. Hagai chapter 2. Listen to this. Hagai chapter 2, verse 8. Etalusaka Ripana, Ere. The silver is mine. Listen to this. The ah. silver is mine and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. <laughs> Can you tell me that that remark has been ages? I remember it was 2014 when I saw you first yeah. time. 
ka kwa eh freeway tabana kele ko muruti my leader kibwa ka my spiritual father kibwa ka muruti go to tell me i like the way you have mentioned faka imalu usobonwa can you just enlighten us before we open our questions today no uh, what i was uh, trying to say was the currency today for mm. you to do anything because yes. we do not have fields to to plant we don't have uh, big yards to sow anything we don't have trees to get anything so now the means of exchanging goods today mm. it's by means of a currency called money and money mm. it's just like a a, I mean, a, a communication language that is available mm. in the whole world. Because mm. if you've got rents, you can convert them into dollars and be able to speak to people in America. Or wow. convert it to dollars, be able to speak to people in Zimbabwe. So now mm. money is a currency that is used these days for anything. Hmm. I like that. You have uh, narrated smoothly. And I want to say thank you so much. May good Lord to keep you and bless you. Pastor Mukoki, yes. we have a, a phenomenal book here. This is a sensational book, and thank you so much. I went through it. This is a vital component, especially in this time, Serapila Motsona. I want to, uh, you know, say thank you. Before we go there, Pastor yes. Mukoki, I'd like to, uh, you know, pass my re remarks here to congratulate you for publishing such an eye opener as inspirational uh, book uh, title, like I said before I start here, I say a live diary that charge your course to success uh, by Reverend uh, Naki Misajalo, Chris Mukoki. And um, on that note, Pastor Mukoki, I would like to know the motivation behind this, uh, writing this uh, vital component book uh, also uh, understand what inspired the title. Can you just enlighten us about that? Okay. Yeah, you know, um, the title itself, A Life Diary, you know, mm. in anybody's life, things happen each and every day. And no one goes into life saying, I want to succeed, I want to succeed, I want to succeed. Because they're just living the life by faith. They wake up every morning, do whatever they've got to do. And success is not at the back of their mind. Hmm. Now, as life happens, you meet people each and every day. Hmm. So now, and these people play a very, very important role in our lives. Hmm. So now, this took me uh, many years to realize wow. that each and every day of our lives, we meet people that make an impact on mm. our successes in life. So mm. now this book is not about me per se, but it's about the people that have made an impact in my own life. Different mm. people right from primary school up until my workplace. So now you know wow. that the book is speaking about people and how they contributed into my life. So wow. many people tend to look at themselves and say, no, I have done this, I have succeeded, I have passed this. But it's not about you, it's about the people that you have met in your mm. life that have made an impact that you can be able to be proud of and say, I have succeeded. That's the title of this book. The giant, more industry, more cooperative world. But today I want to just to usher you as a reverend because uh, you are in the age uh, my uh, you know my leaders Kibuaka Murutukotu, but talks at all the yes bonta te tumo timkulo kibona bantu bailo lebele tsebo na bora ko itsona le mutwetso a se le ba le kena le reverend Kibuaka reverend Chris Mukoki. What a giant, the entrepreneur, but the the inspirational man, of South Africa, Kibuaka, our guest, Pastor Chris Mukoki. What a live diary to chart your way to success. Pastor Mukoki, you have such a vital component. I want to ask you this question. 
um, I would like to salute you, like I said, um, for winning South Africa. Oh, the boss of the year in the year 2011. That was sensational. Yeah. I don't want to take it lightly because it's not, uh, you know, easy to be in that uh, category. But I want to, I know that such achievement uh, is a great inspiration. Listen to this. Uh, even in the Christian, uh, uh, you know, uh, cycle community, as we, we, uh, we were talking about the body of Christ, uh, especially when we see one of our kind uh, show that the Christian can be great, oh my word, achieve, achieve in the marketplace, the Kibuaka marketplace, uh, we're talking about a corporate, a corporate world. Can you just uh, dissect on this, uh, how you managed to get this award in South Africa? Yeah, so uh, let me tell you briefly about the award first. Hmm. So the award in Ileya Winuakiba Tbotsanangdibo, the present commissioner of SARS, hmm. Edward Kiswetha, he won this hmm. award. Hmm. And the former mayor of uh, Pretoria, Khotsieto uh, hmm. Ramkhopa, also won this award. Hmm. Uh, the chairman of uh, ESCOM, Wow. Who, who, is the, who is the father of the previous chairman of Standard Bank, uh, uh, Dr. Wow. John Marie, won this award as well. Hmm. And, the, hmm. and the late founder of hmm. uh, Ituba Games, uh, the Lotto, Humphrey Koza, won it as well. Wow. So now various people have, have, have hmm. won this award over the last 30 years. So now, hmm. and I am number 22 in the winning of Whoa. this award. I am mm. number 22. Yeah, so this award has been going on for 25 years because after 25th winner, the award stopped. Mm. Right. So now, mm. this award, it's when the people mm. that were mm. under you mm. nominate you because you have made an impact in their lives. Mm. Mm. So now, they go into this corporate body uh, and then where they put your name in, then mm. all the managers that were nominated, we were yeah. about 35 that were nominated wow. across the country and mm. across different uh, spheres of life. Mm. So now 35 of us, now we went through three months of interviews, bashing, testing, emotional mm. intelligence, how you do things, being tested for three full months. Wow. Now, this after three, after three months, this number was reduced from 35 to 15. Hmm. Now, after 15, we went through various tests, interviews again, sure. then the number was reduced to six. Hmm. That is after four months now, reduced to six. Now, I was hmm. in the top six. Wow. So now they took us these top six. Then we went uh, for testing again. Then I became tops and became wow. boss of the year award. So hmm. now the boss of the year is not measured hmm. on company performance. No, wow. it is measured on how you manage people hmm. and how you make an impact in people's lives. That's hmm. how they elect you to be boss of the year, where people can stand up and say, no, this man has made an impact in my life. This is what he's done. This man has impacted me in my life. This is what mm. has happened. That is that is uh, what people uh, put me through and say, we thank you. You've made an impact in our lives. We make you boss of the year, 2011. You deserve it because uh, actually, uh, I, I want to say, your caliber, uh, it shows that uh, God has called you in the cooperative world. And we like to thank God for your contribution in South Africa because uh, people like you, uh, Bhaskar said, to be honest, uh, reverend, because uh, to be honest, to achieve uh, the post of the year award in uh, 2011, it was sensational. We thank God for you. Pastor Mugoki, I want to just further to please, uh, please help us to understand your secret of philosophy 
behind such a great achievement. Can you just enlighten us uh, as a body of Christ? What is uh, behind this? Oh, Dr. Bukoki. Yes. Yeah, so for you to be able to make an impact, hmm. you know, uh, when you go to a shop, to a jewelry shop, Yes. And you buy a ring, for instance. I've got, I guess I've got a ring on my finger here. So yeah. it's gold plated. It looks, yes. it's a finished product. It's a ring. So, but people go to the shop and buy the ring that has been polished already. But mm. then one thing they forget, this ring started at the mine, somebody digging the gold. Mm. And then somebody getting dirty, wearing overalls, you know, mm. waking overnight, sweating, mm. getting this gold and taking this gold to a goldsmith who works so hard, burning, uh, taking the sweat. You wow. know, sometimes the gold will jump and burn him. But then at the end of the day, it is refined as gold. Now it is made into a ring that we normally buy. Wow. So many people tend to give praise or tend to recognize mm. only the seller of the gold. Mm. They never realize the people that have been involved in the making mm. of this gold into the ring that it is. That's so now powerful. if you learn, so now if you learn to value everybody in the food chain and not mm. specific people, mm. if you learn to value everybody in the food chain, you'll realize mm. that there's been success upon success upon success that is being built throughout the food chain. So now success does not happen only when you are at the top or hmm. on the top of Mount Zion. Wow. The success happens everywhere. Even the people at the bottom of Mount Sinai, hmm. they are succeeding because they find themselves moving why? Because they meet people along the way that will hold their hands and say, now, let us go. Success is on your way. Let us go together. Holding people into a journey of success at every given time. That is the That's crux of my philosophy in life. I like that the way you narrated, you can tell you are the person who read books, especially uh, this book uh, is uh, exciting. If... Uh, uh, somebody can uh, just grab this uh, copy. I'm telling you, uh, it's going to blow their mind. But thank you so much, Amrutuaka. Uh, I don't take it lightly for your, uh, you know, uh, your your time. Kio mutuetsebuka ya kibuaka Reverend kibuaka Chris Mukoki. What a listen to this a live diary. We on your screen there to chart your course to success. It's just enlightened about his philosophy that was uh, that was excited. And uh, thank you so much. My question is here, uh, 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 Reverend. Listen to this. In your book, as I've just indicated here, you emphasize, oh glory, you emphasize the power. Listen to this. Um, the importance of uh, reputation. This is powerful because uh, when you go inside deeper, not deeper with other people, deeper in the things of God. Listen to this. You say that um, reputation uh, seems like a failure or or even as you, you just, uh, you said even a mark um, of incompetence. But successful, people are repeating many different efforts. Hallelujah. But uh, when you just, uh, uh, you know, go according to what God, uh, uh, you know, orchestrated, um, uh, we're talking about um, the different efforts, uh, but when they found the keys, they repeated their effective behavior. My question for you, my reverend, listen to this. Um, is to somebody who is hungry for success and yet still, glory to Jesus, yet still uh, confused about this process. How do, listen to this, how do they re recon reconcile the statement above and the following uh, famous saying, only a fool repeats the same thing, expect different results. Can you just enlighten us about that? 
yeah so um actually this title of doing it again or repeating was inspired by jesus mm. when i read what jesus did so now for instance uh, in the book of mark if mm. you read from chapter one up until the last chapter chapter 16 there's mm. one word that appears more frequently than any other word and the word is again mm. if you read the whole book of mark you cannot finish a chapter without meeting the word again mm. so now in one specific chapter of mark jesus prayed for a guy and he said what do you see and mm. this guy says i see men as trees walking mm. and jesus said no i didn't pray for you to see men as trees and jesus <laughs> called him and anointed him again Mm. And he said, what do you see? And this man said, no, I see men walking. So Jesus said, that is correct. So now if Jesus mm. could repeat something mm. that did not go right first, it mm. means there is a power that you have when you repeat. Mm. There is a power that you have when you repeat. So now when mm. you repeat, many people think that when you repeat something, you are incompetent or you are a failure and everything else. No, but then I, I have realized that when you mm. repeat something, you actually consolidate knowledge. Wow. Now, I've, I've, I've got a friend uh, who uh, whose parents were teachers. We went to school together. So now, mm. we went to sub A together or grade one together. Mm. But then the mm. parents said to this uh, uh, school, I don't want my son to go to grade two. I want him mm. to repeat grade one. I know he has passed. I know he has passed. But I want him to repeat grade mm. one. Mm. So now, many pastors or many teachers that particular time did not understand why did this parent want their child to repeat grade one. He said, no, I want mm. him to consolidate and get into the idea of learning and get into the idea of wanting to repeat when things don't go their way. Wow. So now, if things don't go your way, you you are fueled up, you are pampered mm. up, you are motivated to say, I want success in this. Then you go in there and repeat. Then when you repeat, mm. you achieve more ways of doing it. You mm. gauge yourself. Now you become much more creative. You obviously change the way that you did mm. it first because you did mm. it first, but now that you are repeating, you've got some background knowledge and you do things differently. You will never do it the same way. So now I mm. beg to differ with people that say now, when you repeat something, you do it the very same way. It is impossible mm. to do it the same way. It is impossible. Mm. Why? Because you've done it before. Now, when you do it again, when you repeat it again, you are going to do it differently, not the same way as you did it before. It becomes natural for you to do things differently. Why? Because you know what you did before. So many people That's, need mm. to develop that character and say, mm. if I fail and things don't go my way, I need mm. to be able to go there and repeat. And mm. remember, repeating does not necessarily mean you do it exactly as you did it last year. Hmm. No, you hmm. just do the particular action again, but the steps hmm. that you follow, they can never be the same because now you are not doing it out of ignorance, but you are doing it out of experience hmm. with particular goals in mind. That's how like important that. the power of reputation is. I like that, uh, and uh, you just uh, grab the, the 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 scripture that's come in my spirit. You said that the steps of the righteous men are ordered by the Lord. Unless the Lord builds the house, the labor in vain that builds it. Oh, the steps of the good man. Who is the good man? The good man who is who is Jesus. The good man is Jesus. Remember today, Chris Mukoki, Me Utinga Kwaru Mutwetz 
tsoge pile le yena me ka kwano mothulganyo ya gago ya ML Talk Show etagela mo matsetsi a le ka kwano ele October ale 28 masoma ba bedi le bo go bedi ka kwano mothulganyo ya gago ke nale yena ka kwano ke ke la jene ke mitsa jalo ga tsa mala le le batho ba tsona le bo docs tole kibwa ka bo kibwa ka bishop dumo mkimkulo reven mundwedi kodu Usama lebo na kakwa kibuwa ka Meron Trek. Ama doja. What a sensational. Ribane li ena. Kia kha riko pana li. Ribane li kibuwa ka Rev. Kibuwa ka Chris Mukoki. Abu wa loko na de businessman. At are talo se saka yabu ribana. Re rabadi show da li ena mo tuetso. Re tsa ano intingi eo ya kha re. Me ra lebo kwa sekhul khum piano. Reverend. I saw something here. With my eyes. Um. And uh, actually, my eyes, Aile uh, Abulecha, uh, when uh, I just, uh, uh, you know, in your forward of the book, uh, the progress of uh, the progress of minister, minister, ministering, and the hostess and um, the ushering say that uh, when you dissect some are lucky, you just quote in reference to the word lucky to find and uh, to start the following their own special. When you just um, elaborate more path uh, that to uh, to do the, uh, the the what um, I'm talking about the things were uh, unique where, uh, as we born already from our uh, young age you you said something that was a vital component when you just uh, re, uh, it touched these remarks I will therefore like to know what is the most be done to help people to discover. Um, they are peoples from the early age. Does the scripture say, don't look down on your youth? Can you just enlighten us about uh, what you have um, enlightened in this uh, forward? Can you come, come on that uh, uh, scenario? Yeah, so now, if you look at the book, uh, uh, at the back of the book, yes, at the back of the book, yes, yes. you've got the hostessing people at the back yes. of the book. Mm. So now, almost all of them, they were with me when we started ministry. Mm. So now, they were still small. Some of them were still at primary school and they mm. joined the ministry when they were in the children's church. Mm. So now, and I realized something that people that were repeating grades were discriminated against. Mm. They were classified as being stupid. Eish. And then when we built ministry, mm. we didn't succeed right from the start. Mm. We had a few people, then we had a few, much more, then we got back down again. We, it, there mm. was a series of ups and downs in ministry. Mm. Mm. So when these ups and downs happen in ministry. Mm. You need to teach people that ups and downs are necessary because they are building character. Mm. So now, these young people that you see at the back of this book yes. were very, very grateful that mm. I've shown them that failure, it is not the end of the world. Mm. Failure, it means you come back and do something differently. Mm. And then wow. they appreciated it very much because they never had mm. that view of life. Mm. Their view of mm. life was you go in there, you pass. You mm. go in there, you get a distinction. But then distinctions normally don't come in that easy. Sometimes mm. you've got to repeat something in order for you to be distinction material. So now wow. they realize the importance of repeating. Of repeating. Mm. So mm. now when we gave them math problems to solve, for mm. instance, mm. we gave them the same problem, they got mm. it right or they didn't get it right, we gave them the same problem to solve two or three times. And as we're solving the same math problem twice or three times, there was something mm. that was being reinforced into them. They started to grasp certain things because in life, there are certain things that you need to memorize. Hmm. And you cannot 
repeat, or you cannot do certain things unless you've memorized them. Hmm. I mean, I've heard you now, Morgan, you were quoting scriptures, and you, you did not open your Bible. Mm. But the scriptures just came. And guess what? For you to memorize those powerful scriptures, you had to repeat them time and again. You had to go back to the Bible and say, oh, mm. this is what it says. This is what mm. it says. And the minute mm. you repeat them, now they start flowing and come and become mm. part of you. Wow. So now, whenever you go out and misquote that scripture you, mm. you can tell that no i've misquoted i've misquoted you go back and correct it yourself without being mm. corrected mm. so there's power in repeating because it reinforces and it gives you a guideline as to how to mm. approach certain problems in life mm. so now when you go to medical school mm. and they, they teach you how to do operations they mm. don't teach you how to perform an operation just mm. once only. Or maybe they mm. take one animal, you do an operation on one animal, now they say, no, you are qualified, now you can go and operate on people. Yes. There's a process of repeating where you do the same operation 10 times, 20 times, 40 times, I don't know how many times. And mm. as you repeat the operation, then you become an expert in it. Mm. Yes. So mm. now when you go to a medical doctor, if you go to a senior doctor, the one who has been practicing medicine for 30 years, for mm. 35 years, believe mm. you me, he's got the experience. Why? Because he has been repeating these things time and again. He knows. He does oh. not panic. He does not panic when he's faced with problems. Why? Because he knows. He knows the symptoms. He knows how the disease will react. He knows what kind of pills is going to put you in. He knows. Why? Because he's been repeating these things time and again. So there's power in repeating. Wow. Power in repeating, yes. What was so funny? Kibuaka Kakaripa, Kibuaka Re Chris, may our live diary, Hata Lusaka Repana, to chart your course to success. May Kirataman Swab, Willem Mobu, Kenya Harekamamurao, are it takes a view for outside to compare the life path that you are born and to uh, to dissect this. I want to say, um, tell me, because you have a wife and children. Yes. Um, during the period of, um, uh, by the grace, I'm the author. During the grace of, uh, you know, you know, come up with this, um, you know, ideas how God want this book. Let's say we go through chapter to chapter, uh, the birth certificate where you talk about your dad, the photo album and sector. Tell me about your wife during this, the time you start in this book. Where was your wife in this uh, uh, situation? Yeah, you see, uh, let me start by mm. telling the audience that mm. I was blessed to be a teacher before I became a pastor. Yes. So now, when I trained as a teacher, we mm. could learn people's different level of a cognitive or reasoning or IQ. Mm. So now we were taught that you need to treat people differently at different levels. Mm. Right? And respect each and every level, whether it's grade 1 level or it's grade 12 11 or grade 12 mm. level, you need to respect it. So now mm. my wife mm. was with me at all times. At a wow. level where she was playing a, a supportive role into mm. making sure that I succeed in what I do. Mm. So now, I would never relegate her responsibility or her duties to a lesser level. Hmm. Because my success is her success. I like that. So now, hmm. as I was busy teaching the children that no, hmm. we can see that you wrote a test today hmm. and you got 30%. Hmm. I did not condemn them for having wow. 
thirty percent. I congratulate mm. them on getting the thirty, and say now let us work on increasing it to a forty. Mm. And now for us to be able to work on increasing it to a forty, we need to repeat certain things and mm. repeat the same test that they wrote mm. and got thirty. Mm. We do the same test. We repeat. Now, my wife came in as a supporting role mm. because she carried the same message that I was carrying to the kids. Sure. Mm. So now the kids started to understand that, no, we got 30 here, but then mm. 30 is not the B and the end of it all. We mm. can get to 40. Now, for us mm. to get to 40, we mm. need to repeat the very yes. same test. Mm. Now, for us to get to 50, we need to repeat. And as we repeat, we mm. found the mistakes that we have made before. Now we mm. corrected the mistakes in the process. Mm. Now my kids started to understand that whenever you repeat, you see the mistakes that you didn't see before. You, you tend to correct what you never saw before. Mm. You, you, you see the tricks that you mm. never saw before. You learn new tricks in the process. Hmm. So now, if you take a runner, for instance, somebody hmm. who runs 100 meters, hmm. they, don't, they don't just go and exercise once and say, no, I can hmm. run 100 meters. Now they become an expert in 100 meters. No, hmm. they repeat that 100 meters in training for so many times. Wow. The first time they do 100 meters mm. in 50 yeah. seconds. Mm. They try again, they do that 100 meters in 40 mm. seconds. They mm. practice again, they get it. Now, each time they repeat, mm. they, they get a record performance mm. of that. Now, they end mm. up doing 100 meters in 10 seconds. Mm. Mm. And that 10 mm. seconds did not come uh, automatically. Mm. It came with them repeating the 100 meters so many times as they better their record. So now I the like more that. you repeat, mm. the more you repeat, the better your record becomes. I like that, uh, Pastor Chris, because uh, you have, you know, you have such a vital component, uh, um, you know, when you just uh, narrate about uh, repeating. I can tell you have said many times, uh, actually, the Lord is doing something not only. Remember, we are broadcasting live from In His Presence Ministry. We are, laughing, we are broadcasting live from uh, Facebook. We are broadcasting live from YouTube right now in three destinations. Listen to this. Uh, Pastor Chris Mukoki is uh, intelligent. Entrepreneur and progressive thing. A church found a leader is called a progressive ministry. We're serving the progressive in God. We have a progressive revelation. A former lecturer, a banker, he specializes in financial planning, management. Are Mukoki found and leads called progressive thing. Listen to this ministry, Pastor Mukoki. We are serving progressive in God. Progressive thing. The word of God is a progressive in revelation. Can you just uh, give us your remarks uh, about what I've just said? Because uh, I like your church when you said progressive thing. Let's listen to the progressive in ministry. Can you just uh, enlighten us uh, why you came with that uh, name? Because uh, to be honest, it's not easy to come with that name. It means uh, it's a revelation that comes from God. Give us uh, what the Lord has said to you. Yes, yeah. In our opening, you quoted a scripture. You yes. said the steps of a righteous man are ordered yes. by the Lord. Hmm. So a step means a step from one step to the next, from one step to the next, from one step hmm. to the next. Wow. So now, if all, if God is ordering a step, and it's a step of going forward each and every time, hmm. 
Hmm. Now, there's a scripture in uh, Psalm 105. Hmm. I, I think, no, it's not Psalm 119, verse 105. Wow. Yes. It says, His word is a lamp unto my feet hmm. and a light hmm. to my path. Wow. So now, God hmm. will not go with bright for you, show you the future show you in 2025 what's going to happen, show you in 2030 what's going to happen. No, <laughs> you take it step by step. Step mm. by step. So it's very, mm. very important that you take it step by step. Thank so now, you. in our ministry, progress ministries, mm. we value the importance of each and every step. I like that. We teach people mm. that mm. one step at a time mm. we're getting there. So wow. now we teach people the fruit of the spirit indirectly. Hmm. The fruit of the spirit, one of it is patience. I like that. Yeah. So now you can never teach people patience if you have, if you have not shown them the power of taking each step one day at a time. Wow. So now hmm. so let's take for instance the sun. Mm. The sun shines every day. Mm. The sun mm. shines every day. Mm. It rises from the east and mm. sets in the west. Yes. Now, in some days, in some days, when the sun is shining, it is not mm. reaching its target here on earth. Why? Because there are clouds. Mm. Why? Because there's mm. rain. Why? Because there are storms. Mm. But the sun doesn't stop rising hmm. the next day hmm. the next day it may be able to reach its target and 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 uh, grow plants and make the washing dry and do all those kind of things but the sun does not stop repeating the rising and the setting the rising and the setting the rising and the setting so now that is what we need to teach people hmm. that you will rise you set, you rise, you set, and each time you rise, you will hit different targets. Sometimes there's a wind, sometimes there's a storm, sometimes there's everything, but you do not give up. You rise again, you rise again, just like the sun is doing each and every day. And at the end of the day, at the end of the season, the sun has achieved a lot. The sun would have grown big trees, the sun would have... Uh, brought us rain, the sun would have achieved so many things hmm. by simply rising and setting, rising and setting. It may be repeating, you know? Some hmm. people may say, but then doesn't hmm. the sun get tired hmm. of repeating the same thing each and every day? No. <laughs> yeah. The sun, it knows that each time it repeats, each time it repeats, there's a different outcome. So people must never neglect the power of repeating. Wow, that's essential. Like, uh, uh, Rev, Reverend uh, Chris Wamukoki. Rev, you have touched something I love about uh, Galatians. I love you talk about, uh, but people that don't want to cross uh, in the line here, tenacity, Kibuaga, uh, uh, hardships. They love the sound mind, they love, uh, you know, a patient sector, but the tenacity, Kibuagabo uh, hardship. But you, as you, you, you just mentioned that, according to Mahalati, it means that you have the spirit of tenacity, uh, my leader. I want to say thank you so much for, for your encouragement. And uh, like as you, you've been saying, you've been encouraging your students as a lecturer. And uh, it shows that you are a good uh, you know, teacher. But before we go further, um, there's a question that I said, I will therefore like to know um uh, but that, that one we have asked you the first chapter in your in your in your book um, the first chapter of your book reveals the importance of support because you have uh, you know highlight more about support and the present uh, of a father and in the lives of his children that one uh, you have touched something by encouraging now you're talking we're talking about support you have narrated how your father reg uh, regarded him the birth of his children, and uh, especially, um, especially in the events which uh, he even recorded in his diary. That's a vital point. Let me just say something. Uh, 
David, he always, not David, David, his son was Samson. But Samson, he mentioned uh, time Solomon. and again, yeah, time and again about his father. You know, uh, how vital was his father doing in the, the book of uh, Proverbs and Psalms? But here you said, even he recorded in his diary, you talk about your father here, you also highlighted that even though he was a uh, drunken, and uh, he shielded his children, oh, manifest, uh, children for including in the alcohol. My question, uh, Muruti, um, Goki, is that uh, the world is broken. Families like South Africa in the moment uh, where the children are being raised by single mothers, what do you suggest that must be done for fathers uh, play a significant uh, of upbringing. Listen to this, um, for their children like what your father did uh, despise of his shortcomings. Can you just enlighten this? Uh, it's like your father was like, uh, 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 your father, unatonally uh, uh, harsh let's say, um, Solomon. Solomon was, uh, Solomon successfully how he told her when he mimicked his father. Now, in the same scenario, can you just enlighten about your father? Yeah, so my father made a decision to quit mm. alcohol because we were growing up. And then, personally, I haven't seen him drink. I just heard that he used to drink. Wow. So now, we, we've never seen him drunk. We've, so now, but then, as we were growing up, he realized that he cannot hide this. Hmm. So now he stopped completely. Hmm. So now, and he became a present father. He hmm. became available for us. But then one hmm. thing that he did, he used to work for a newspaper company. Wow. So now in South Africa, a long time ago, there was a newspaper called The Rent Daily Mail. Yes. Now the rent daily mail, he used to work there, he used to print the papers. So now each time they knocked off in the morning, he, they, he would be given a newspaper to take home. Hmm. And then he would bring that newspaper back home and said, Please read this newspaper, all of us. Sure. And then he would come and ask us questions about what we read in the newspaper. And he mm. did that religiously almost every day, Monday to Friday. Mm. So that is when I learned also repeating. So now if you've got a father that mm. is there all the time, he is mm. showing interest in your learning and he is mm. asking you questions on what you have learned. He is mm. giving you the opportunity to explain to him how you understand. Mm. I saw that kind of interaction with kids, it mm. really molds them into a particular route. That mm. is why perhaps all of us at home, all of us, we, we are seven children and mm. six are pastors. Wow. Six mm. are pastors wow. out of the seven. Mm. So now it is the way that he has played a role in our lives by being present. Mm. So now, when we meet a father who is present all the time, hmm. we cannot be anything else but present for our own kids because that's sure. what we have grown. Hmm. That's what we know. Hmm. You've got to be there for your kids. You've got to hmm. show interest in what they do. When they come back from school, how was school? What did you do today? Can I see the homework? Everything else. The minute you do that, you encourage your kids to be responsible. Hmm. So now a father has got to be present. Wow. That is why on men on track, we teach men to be men. Wow. We teach men to be present. Wow. Are we going to get it right? Biggie, biggie, Mac <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we get yeah. five people, we teach them, hmm. and they go out, and get more five people, and now we become 10, these 10 people go out, and each one grabbing one, they bring another 10 in, that's how we make an impact. That is what mm. Men on Track is all about. Making wow. an impact. Because we have seen 
that many of the kids that are in prison mm. is because a father was absent. Hmm. That's powerful. A father was mm. absent. The mm. mother was left trying to create a man out of a mm. boy. How can a woman make a boy to be a man if the woman has never been a man before? <laughs> it's impossible. It's impossible. I like that. I like that. Yeah. You see, I watch after you have just you know uh, narrate or just uh, give us the insight on that. I became relaxed because you're talking to a man. If uh, people are watching yeah. right now, currently, remember, people are watching uh, us. Uh, they are coming. Uh, people are watching us. Uh, they are coming from uh, Kibuaga, United States of America. People are watching right now. They are uh, from Botswana. People, they need to understand men need to guide men, young boys, and both men, they need to instill the love, uh, especially to our sons and our daughters. But I want to say thank you. We salute you, Reverend. Reverend, there's a last question I want to ask you here because we, 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 we have um, a, a sensational guest like your caliber. Listen to this. In the book of Life Diary, to chart your way to success, you emphasize uh, for the uh, significance of thanks, uh, thanksgiving. That's people are not giving thanks. You know, uh, when you wrote that, uh, saying that thank you is not just uh, 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 social polite, as you narrate on that, but is a way of opening accounts you're talking about those accounts of remarks of uh, the favor with the man of god how do we therefore as a church and the community inspired and promoting gratitude among the citizens especially from young age because mm. And then, uh, as you just in, uh, uh, you know, just saying in your uh, live diary to chart of success, uh, saying thank you is not just social polite. Can you just uh, give us uh, more insight on that? Yeah. So yeah, remember, I said this book is mm. not about me, but this mm. book is about other people. So now, when you say thank you to someone. Mm you motivate them to do more hmm. so now when you say thank you you're actually opening a door for more favors hmm. the minute you show gratitude you are hmm. empowering this person that give that gave you something or that did something to you to do it again wow. to repeat it why because you are being thankful hmm. so and the only way that we can um help is to mm. teach our young people to be thankful thank you now we cannot mm. ram it down their throats but then it can mm. only start in the way that we interact with them mm. all right so now yes. suppose i'm a teacher i go to class and mm. i find that there are kids in my class mm. and they've kept quiet They've not made any noise. Mm. Mm. As a teacher, I don't go in there and start teaching because they are quiet. Mm. I say, wow, thank you mm. very much for making mm. it on time. Mm. I see it's eight o'clock, you're already in class. Thank you very much. Wow. I thank you very much that you, you are not making noise. Mm. Show them thanks in each and every step of the way you know at the end of the period thank you for giving me your attention when they did their homework thank you that you've done your homework wow thank you <laughs> you know if you start instilling that word thank you mm. into your kids it, they will take this word and run with it Wow. In their own circumstances. Wow. They will be given something by someone. And if they forget to say thank you, just remind them and say, hey, thank you. Mm. And the culture of thank you 
will grow and grow and grow and grow. So thank you. It's very, very important. Mutwa so le Pastor Chris Mukoki me kiba no but lohanyo yaha ho yamatla me lohanyo yaha ho yamatla a vital component his day and his time thank God for this remarks we don't take it lightly for his remarks. We don't take it lightly for his remarks, um, and uh, he's so phenomenal. Oh, Pastor Mukoki, Reverend. Yes, sir. Yes. Lastly, you have uh, something that I've uh, saw here uh, uh, just a one for a while uh, because I don't know what's a technical issue, Sekakwano. Um, there's something that I saw. Um, Oyen saying, uh, February 2018. Yes, Morgan, uh, you are breaking. Yeah, just a yeah, one for a while. Technical. Yeah, just a one for a yeah, while. Just a, yeah, just a one for a while. Just a one for a while. We're still uh, working on that, uh, Reverend. Uh, yes, Reverend. On the first, uh, just a one, just a one for a while. We'll be back after this. Just a one, yeah. On the first of uh, 2018, just a one for a while. Actually, there's a, there's a problem here. We want. we don't take it lightly we have uh, just uh, technical issues on our side uh, but we are back on the dot pastor mokoki yes okay yeah kira ke tsebe go na le mathata skerniki o tarine le ba bo gometseng a sna ka sepe actually uh, you know satan like i was quoting the scripture according to second corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 the god of this world has blinded the mind of the people um Pardon us about the delay, but Nekirata no kabo buile something kabukaya how because this technical issue do happen about this. Pastor Mukoki, tell us about 2018 when you start about your clinic. You have managed to leave the cooperative world and you said you're starting your uh, clinic. Can you just enlighten about this uh, 2018? Kako uh, kahiso. Yeah. So what happened is my brother is married to a nurse. A very very senior wow. nurse yeah wow. so now he has got clinics all over the mm. country wow my brother and his wife who is a nurse hmm. so now the clinics are in oliven hot bosch erasmia tanin Kiani, and one in pretoria you know mm. so we wanted to make an impact here in mm. the Western end. Mm. So I said, uh, mm. let me see if my project management skills are okay. We started mm. clinic here in Kahiso. So I mm. resigned from my job. Then mm. we started a clinic here in Kahiso. Yes. And mm. boom, the clinic went very, very well. Mm. Went very, very well. Yes. And then uh, it was operating. But after four months, I had to leave the clinic and went back to corporate because corporate called me and said, no, you must come back. But then this time it was another company, another mm. bank, not the, not the same one that I used to work for. So, mm. But then the clinic was started, worked very, very well. And the clinic created employment because we had to employ a receptionist. We had to employ a cleaner. We had to employ a sister, you know? Mm. So now, and this sister, when we were running the clinic, we would teach her, entrepreneurial skills and mm. say when a patient comes 
you must know what is the value that you are adding in their life. Mm. So now, the nurses were being trained to be entrepreneurs as well. Wow. So now, in the past four or five years, the nurses that have worked there have been trained into entrepreneurs. So some of them have gone out to, to be employed by other clinics as well. But then they learned entrepreneurial skills. Thank you so much. That's a, that's yes. a sensation. We are going to release you. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, may good Lord keep you and bless you. What's your last word? What next, uh, uh, Reverend uh, Chris Mukoku? What next about Ray Chris? Yeah, what is next? Uh, I'll keep everybody in suspense. Uh, but then there will be uh, edition number two of this wow. book. And then it will include my latest corporate experiences so now it's coming next and then uh, i started my uh, uh, my career working for government mm -hmm. i might end my career working for government again but then okay. let me keep these things under wraps uh, yeah. hang in there something good is coming thank you very thank much you. Thank you. And lastly, if I want to get this book, as um, maybe somebody is watching from the United States, somebody is watching from Botswana, South Africa, if I want to get this book, how will I get this book if I need this book or write like this? Yeah, so now if you want this book, uh, mm. if you are in South Africa, number one, you will have to uh, send money. Uh, the book is only 100 rands. Yes. But the Korea, because we are using a private company to Korea this, mm. the Korea is also 100 rands. So now, mm. if you send 200 rands and your details, we will send you the book and Korea it to you the same day when we receive the funds. Mm. So now, you, you can send the funds using e wallet, cash send on my cell phone. 082-784-3198. Then we can send it through to you. Wow. But then if you are outside South Africa, you can use PayPal, the same hmm. number, 082-784-3198. Send money into the PayPal account as well as the reference that is your details. We will send the book through to you with an exterior courier company, it will be delivered to you. Unfortunately, it is not available electronically yet. We're still trying to uh, to put it into PDF, but then it's taking longer than we expected. But then South Africans put the money in, cash send, just 200 bucks will courier it to you to any destination in South Africa. Reverend, thank you so much for your time. Pass my greetings to your beloved wife and your church, a progress, progressive ministry. We'd like to thank you so much. You are the great leader. Oh, the entrepreneur. We're talking about uh, Ijanti. Yes, South Africa. Shabonga Baba. Can you just maybe pray for somebody who don't know the Lord as a personal savior and uh, make a sinner's prayer and then we close you, we just depart. Can you just do that for us, Reverend? Yes. Uh Everybody out there, please uh, just uh, repeat this after me and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for loving me. I thank you for dying for me on the cross. Yes. Lord Jesus, help Lord me. Jesus. Help me. Lord Jesus, baptize Lord Jesus. me with the Holy Spirit. Baptize help me, with me the Holy to Spirit. make the right decisions. Make help me, me to walk with yes. you. Help mm. me to think. Help me to be a good person. Help me to be a good uh, business person. Help yes. me in my business. Give me more ideas. Holy Spirit, mm. endure me or mm. baptize me with more mm. wisdom. I thank you for this. I know as from today, I am your child. I yes. know as from today, I am wise. I know today, I am empowered. And thank you, Holy Spirit, for being my guide. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 
Amen. Pastor Mokoki, thank you so much. We really appreciate you. We are releasing you now. We are releasing you now. Thank you so much for your time. We don't take it lightly. May good Lord keep you and bless you. We perceive the hand of God stretch forth upon your life. Thank you, Murutuaka. May good Lord keep and bless you. Amen. Okay. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Which was so nearly Haripa Kivuaga, Reverend Chris Mokoki, Hatanosaka Ripana, Me Habuajano, Ola Tosesa Caguano, Me Arneleza Kivuaga, Pukaya Hare, a live diary, a chart, Haitos Tajalo to your course to success. Morgan, I want to thank you so much for give us your time and may good Lord keep you and bless you. May it also a Molati, make a solo fella. Uh, Buga Re Chris Mukoki, Arnelenza, Puripana, Kamho, Butsilo Mutsamangahona, the charge your course, me it's a mele yalo. In Tamara Quesa Fitzipino, put to it so get a kid's cocoa, me yaho, Mohela, Yongela, get a cafon to it. So if you go for it, Yabua, Murabe, it's a Fitzipino, me yaho, Boham, to it's already saying a twelve follow. Stations also need to it. So it is all never be an out of show, get a laga, Puripan. Ladies and gentlemen, we need leaders who are more interested in people than in private ambition. Timeless teachings by world-renowned speaker, Miles Monroe. Dr. Miles Monroe authored more than 70 best-selling books. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we need leaders who are more interested in people than in private ambition. Timeless teachings by world-renowned speaker, Miles Monroe. Dr. Miles Monroe authored more than 70 best-selling books and his work continues to touch millions of people globally. Now, a new book by author Charlie Masara takes a closer look at Monroe's remarkable life. In My Life and Times with Miles Monroe, Charlie shares personal journeys, lessons and behind-the-scenes stories gained over two decades of service. My Life and Times with Miles Monroe by Charlie Masara is now available at leading bookstores. You can also order online at kingdomcommunitysa.org.